Marmari Emmanuel, Tuba Leke ya Marmari. Grace to you and peace of our Lord and Savior to you, O Marmari Emmanuel. Tuba Leke ya Marmari. When I saw the video the first time of your stabbing, I wanted to cry and I was furious. But the first words that came to my mind were, Grace of our risen Lord Jesus Christ to you. Our Lord told us to not be afraid or scared of those who kill the body, but not kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. O oh brother, O oh amazing Marmari, you might be hurting now of this vicious attack of Satan and his minions, but your soul is blessed. Hallelujah! What an awesome blessing. Muslims, you can try to persecute us, insult us and burn us and even stab us. We will love you because Jesus commanded us to love you and pray for you. The more you try to hurt us, the more we are going to be blessed in his name. You won't change the fact that Jesus is Lord. There has been um, a video circulating in TikTok and I don't know where else saying that the bishop has two weeks to live. Yeah. Um, and, and somebody is saying, uh, farewell, Bishop, and we're really sad to see you go. Look, I was, I was extremely excited when I heard that I have two weeks to live. Because I don't want to stay in this world. Um, for me, it's, it's over. Uh, whether I stay or not, it doesn't matter, really. Uh, I've had my share of this world. And I, I pray that the Lord takes me today before tomorrow. I want to be with Him. This is not running away. This is not an escape, no. I'm saying it with confidence in the Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord. And I choose you any time of the day, all day long, to be with you. I don't care about the world and whatever the world gives. So I, I was extremely happy. I thanked the person who did this video. Thank you so much. I didn't know that I was dying in two weeks. So, um, but I'm not sure if I will go in two weeks' time. Maybe, I don't know. But as far as being sick, and he has got two weeks left, uh, that's news to me. So, whether it's a disappointment to some who are listening, or it's a, it's a happy occasion, I'm just letting you know, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I am sick, and I'm dying in two weeks time, but everything is in the Lord's capable hands. But there is no such thing. I am not sick, I'm not dying, um, yeah, so I'm sorry to say this. <laughs> Maybe some of them heard it and said, yes, finally we're getting rid of this old bishop. But sorry, guys, I'm still sitting on your heart. We would die with our heads high, having faith in our risen Lord Jesus Christ, who conquered death and resurrected on the third day. You can try to kill us, but we will die happy, knowing that we are saved in Christ. Saint Stephen in the New Testament said, Lord Jesus, forgive them, for they do not know what they do, while they were stoning him to death outside the walls of Jerusalem. We are people who follow the Lord Jesus Christ. We have happiness and joy in our hearts. You can never take that away from us. Your fruits are known. Your fruits are the fruits of terror, the terror of Satan. When Jesus returns, you would wish to die, but you won't find it because you will be eternally condemned for your crimes against his beloved church. May Jesus have mercy on your souls. May he deal with you as you have done to the children of God. Grace to you, Mar Marie. I kiss your heart. We envy you. Look, Mar Marie. Look how many people are turning to Christ because of your suffering for Christ. We envy you. Many people have found Christ in their lives because of what happened to you in Sydney at your church. You stepped on Satan by the power of Christ. What a blessing. Mar Marie might be hurting right now in hospital, but when he sees the Lord, he will say, Look what they have done to me in your name, O Jesus Christ. But Jesus will comfort him 
Bless him with his glory and heal him forevermore. To the attacker and stabber, may God have mercy on your soul. We will pray for you. We are not like you. We will not do what you did to us. We Christians are people of the truth. We are people of love. And we love to die defending our loved ones and families with our heads high. The power and love of Christ defeats your hate you inherited from your Satan Allah and his false prophet Muhammad. Grace to all of you who suffer in the name of Christ. I love you my family in Christ, but stay strong at all times. Rise up. We are warriors and we will defend ourselves and our loved ones until Jesus Christ returns. Jesus is Lord.